Hi, and welcome back. We are in the Tesla on a snowy day, uh, and we got a new update. So today we have update 2024.2.6. Uh, we're going to go over it, and also the other updates in the 2024.2 family of updates, because there are several. Um, <clears throat> so there are some interesting ones. I'm going to uh, turn the camera around, show you what they are. But yeah, we've got some interesting ones, some good ones that I like, that I think are pretty good. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we go with update 2024.2.6. So specifically in 2024.2.6, we have supercharging in cold weather. Um, if you're heading to a charger in colder condition, use the vehicle navigation. And that way, in addition to preparing the battery, it's going to warm the battery also, which is really nice for where I am up in uh, the Northeast. We get a lot of snow and a lot of cold weather. So that helps. This is a really good one. Uh, they've updated the way that they estimate the battery range to now include characteristics relating to battery aging over time, degradation. So that's a really, I really, really like that. Um, that'll help out a lot with planning trips, etc. 2024.2.3, this is also a really good one. You can get a reminder to plug in your car when you, when you are at home. You must have your home marked as home, and you have to have charged there at least once. But you'll get a reminder in your app to, to plug in if you have less than half of your, if you're under 50%, you'll get a reminder when you're home to plug in. Uh, the only other thing in 2024.2.3, it says security fixes and improvements. And again, in 2024.2, security improvements. Now, one thing that was in, um, in 2024.2.6 that is not listed here, and it doesn't apply to me, but it may apply to you, is a better Bluetooth functionality to your phone. I think it's called ultra wideband. The problem is you have to have an iPhone 11 plus or later, and I do not. I have an Android, so that does not apply to me. So that's kind of disappointing. But if you have an iPhone 11 or newer, um, you will be able to do that. And it's ultra wide band. You have to set some permissions in your phone, but it will improve the way that your car unlocks and locks and, and, and interacts with your phone's Bluetooth. So that's a really good one. And then, you know, the other ones are, we, we've been over the uh, increased sizes of the, the fonts and, and such. So that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Some nice things, some good features, especially if you have an iPhone, which I don't, um, but really good stuff. So yeah, that's what's in there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's really appreciated. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help. And we'll see you next time.